pressure and calls sometimes for a variation in playing style. Here's how tonight's UEFA Cup first round first leg match turned out. A commentator is Jock Brown. So Rangers have gone for experience for a European occasion tonight, facing this game with more optimism than they've had for a few seasons. Ali McCoy back in the side despite being suspended for domestic competition and Bobby Russell and Dougie Bell in midfield. Tonight they're joined by the experienced figure of Cammy Fraser, making only his second appearance of the season in the first team. So a lot of unfamiliar names in that Osasuna lineup, but they must be treated with respect. They drew 2-2 with Barcelona away on Sunday, so that must be respected. They have three players with under-21 international experience, and while it's a defensive lineup, there's a lot expected of their star youngster up front, Eugenio Bustingori, wearing number 10, and he has four under-21 caps. So it's a night of new experiences for Atletico Osasuna, their first ever match in European competition, and played in the most remarkable conditions for them, I'm sure, with the rain totally sodden, it's been coming down in torrents all day and in fact has increased in volume as kickoff approached so a huge crowd inside Ibrox this match of course sparking off a great deal of optimism among the Rangers supporters after their splendid start to the season Rangers still undefeated in competitive matches this season there's Davy Cooper being marked very tightly indeed you see the water spraying with each step the players take. And the ball, in fact, holding up on the surface water. This could be treacherous for defences in particular. There's Stuart Munro. Ali McCoy is off on a run. Closely followed all the way by Puroy. And McCoy is making life difficult for the goalkeeper, Yurun. McCoy is very active early on. Russell playing it back for Burns. With Russell again. Attacking the left side of the Osasuna defence. Carlos Puroy again making the tackle. Former Atletico Bilbao player, so a man with lots of experience. So the free kick on the far side will be taken by Hugh Burns once Craig Patterson gets into position. Patterson couldn't reach it. Well, he's appealing that he was held by Orihuela, the striker who went back to cover the forward run from the Rangers captain. The referee tonight, Mr. Wojtek Christoph from Czechoslovakia, a man who has refereed Scottish sides many times in the past. Getting through to Dave McPherson. McCoy's trying to turn quickly. There's Ripo Das, the captain of Osasuna, who put it back. The referee having a little word with Danny McCoy at long range. Well, the goalkeeper comes from Brazil. I wonder how he's enjoying this. Here's Dougie Bell. Williamson with the layoff. Orihuela couldn't control it, and Fraser turns it all the way back to Nicky Walker and the Rangers go. McPherson. Not a very good clearance. Burns under pressure. That'll be a Rangers throw. begin the build up from that deep position Bobby Russell going back to inside his back four to set something up for Rangers McCoy thinks he was pushed the referee disagrees and that's a Rangers throw that's Cooper away from his marker De Luis well taken by Duron the Osasuna goalkeeper Benito 
Orihuelo finding Ibanez on the right. Good judgment from Bell. Koist. Bell again. Good build up from Rangers. Here's Williamson. Good play from Rangers. And a fine shot from Williamson. Some very neat interpassing here. Eventually the ball from Bell through to Williamson looked up, saw the shooting chance, and that was a good save. Castaneda with the clearance for Osasuna. Still the rain comes down in torrents. There's the problem for Nicky Walker. McPherson. There goes Monroe. Good tackle from Savito, that was in Williamson. This is Monroe. Orihuela gets it back from Danito. Czechoslovakian linesman gives the throw to Rangers. Williamson now running at Zabido. Once again, having a tie for goal. Bobby Williamson with 10 goals to credit this season. Hungry for more. Ribodas finding Orihuela on the right. Stuart Monroe sticking to his task. Throw in, I think, right at the corner flag. Looks as if we have a long throw specialist in Ignacio Ibanez. Razor looking for Williamson, Zabido with a good challenge. Benito. Ibanez. Well taken by Walker, not at all easy tonight. That very slippery ball. Well this will do Nicky Walker's confidence, no harm at all. Well created on the right by the Osasuna players. And well held by Walker. Razor forcing it forward. Come back by McCoist for Russell. Cooper on the right for the moment. Taking De Luis, his marker with him. Russell playing it in low. McCoist couldn't reach it. Very closely marked. Promising build up again from Rangers. Russell checking inside his left foot, playing it towards the near post area. Down goes the keeper, and McCoist arriving a fraction too late. Williamson, the head flick finds McCoist. Carlos Puroi was the offender with that heavy tackle on McCoist. Puroi marking McCoist. Zabido is on Williamson. Castaneda spare at the back. Played in by Fraser. Good first time effort. That could so easily have brought danger for Osasuna. Variety in this free kick, driven low, straight across, played on by Patterson, and over the top. Castaneda. Well, no ceremony about that. Cooper goes a wandering again. Bums making progress on the right, positive run, and the keeper at full stretch. But how the Rangers supporters rise to the new hero at right back, Cubans. And here's why, tremendous run at the right, and that almost 
sneaked in under the crossbar. Benito allowing Monroe to play the ball out for the throw. Well, if there were any doubts before the match, they've been totally dispelled now about the quality of the opposition. Atletico Osasuna acquitting themselves splendidly in this opening quarter of the match. Orejuela goes into the box, marked by Patterson as Ibanez prepares for the long throw. Cooper back defending, releasing Buns on the right. The layoff didn't work, but Rangers have a second chance with Russell. Buns towards Williamson. And still Rangers can make a way against this rock-like defence. Gustengori now, chance to run up the Rangers defence. And McPherson forcing Walker into the neck of nothing save. Well, this was all down to the conditions of the ball holding up, giving the opportunity to Benito. Superb interception there by Sabido. It would have reached Williamson all right. Bell brought down by Ibanez Ibanez one of the three under 21 internationals in the Osasuna side, Lombreras is another and Bustingori Cooper fighting it close to Buren and the keeper took it well. I think Cooper thought about surprising the goalkeeper with that one. Patterson leaves it now to Russell. Christian Gori again making his presence felt in midfield for Osasuna. Fraser to Barnes. And all the Spaniards funnel back into defence. Barnes trying to commit them. Near post ball blocked by Castaneda. Benito got the touch. Barson striding forward. The German tackle from Castaneda. Well, that's unlucky for Osasuna, picked up initially by Monroe, then by Cooper. And Russell. Well, he needed a good cross from the byline. Russell couldn't deliver it. But beautifully created, despite the jersey pull by David Cooper. Threading the pass through to the byline for Russell. He couldn't pull it back away from the keeper. Now Russell. Buns once again. Buren coming to meet the cross. And he looks a good goalkeeper. But again, so much of the Rangers' danger coming from Hugh Burns out there on the right. Sending over yet another cross. It's well taken by the keeper. Ali McCoy is sent tumbling and free kicks been given. Two Rangers. A yellow card for time wasting for the captain Ribudas. So the two big men up from the back for Rangers again, Patterson and McPherson. Flighted in by Cooper. 
Good effort. Came from Williamson at the edge of the box. Played in by Davy Cooper. The challenge was there. It was Zabido who won it. And a good first time effort from Williamson. Free kick's been given this time for the foul on McCoist. And in fact, at the half time was so blown by referee Christoph catching the players unawares. Some whistling around the stadium from the huge Rangers support. But a first half when Rangers huffed and puffed but couldn't find a way through a resolute Spanish defence. And it's perfectly clear already that the second half will provide a lot of problems for Rangers if they're to make the vital breakthrough. Join us in a couple of minutes. Have you noticed? Some new homes stand out from the crowd. We are Medallion Homes, super insulated to be warmer, more comfortable, specially built to save energy and save money. We have today's electric heating with white meter for heating and hot water each day at half price overnight. We can be the cheapest homes of all to heat, so SSEB give us the Medallion Award. Look out for it. It's your sign of a home built for comfort and economy. It isn't hard to find as more and more homes are now Medallion Homes. Electricity. The stakeout. The setup. The shootout. The cover up. The families. The toughest cop in the world just got tougher. Chuck Norris, Code of Silence. Throughout the country, at a cinema near you from Friday. We'll be shutting up shop a little early today, Rita. Oh, all right, Mr. Pringle. Mr. Pringle. Be honest. If you found a building society that paid 2.5% above its ordinary rate, with instant access, wouldn't you put your money into it? And now, can the Tartan Pimpernel prevent a terrible miscarriage of justice? I can earn a double yellow line, eh? Did you not know it was a capital offence, son? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't even have a car. That's what they all say. I need a miracle to save me now. Find your Tartan special before you go about your business, gents. <laughs> Great. Terrific. Tartan special. Tartan special. They always fall for it. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Can I buy you a pint? Better make that six. That poor devil hasn't paid his rates. New Belmont Nissans available at pre-increased prices. Buy now while stocks last and save hundreds. Belmont Nissan. There's a branch near you. get the second half underway the rain still falling heavily as it has done since the first whistle and as you can see the splashes on the surface again which will make things very difficult indeed for defenders in particular Craig Patterson that time with the measured pass back but Rangers know they have it all to do in this second half they were unable to put any sustained pressure on the Osasuna defence on any occasion they did get forward, they found the Spanish back four equal to the task. They looked very accomplished indeed for European novices. The Rangers' proud record this season will have to be guarded jealously, I think. There goes McCoy. Brilliant goalkeeping from Bjorn. Well, that would have been the perfect start the second half for Rangers. Gathered well by McCoy, sprinting into position. The left foot shot was well aimed and with plenty of power, but the goalkeeper was equal to the task. Free kick to Rangers. Cooper once again the victim of a heavy tackle from the back. 
Buren organizing his defense. A lot of blue jerseys forwards. And turn behind for the corner kick once again by Savido. Good ball played in by Cooper. The Rangers have the corner kick. Cooper's out swinger. Up goes Patterson. Stopped on the line. Here's Fraser. And still Rangers couldn't carve out a clean strike at goal. Well, this is the closest yet for Rangers. Cooper's corner kick. Patterson's header, Williamson tried to turn it towards goal, then tried to create a chance for Cammy Fraser. Orejuela to Mustangori. Neat play from Patterson to Fraser. One for Burns to chase. The cover is there though in the form of Carlos Turoy, number four. Now Russell. Chance this time for Rangers. That was McCoist. And Buron again looking the calmest man in the field. This is a good ball played in by Russell. Williamson and McCoist both going for it. It was McCoist who got the touch and the keeper was in the right spot. Russell couldn't control it. De Luis. Orejuela. First and full stretch. McCoy is beaten in the jump by Puroy. And once again, Puroy guilty of a foul on McCoy. And still, referee Christoph takes no action. Series of fouls against the Osasuna number four. But the referee, for my money, being extremely indulgent. Although he has given Rangers the free kick. Well, I'm sliding in a good ball. A perfect header. Craig Patterson. The ninth minute of the second half. And how's this for a header from the captain? Craig Patterson diving into the rocker players and bulleting the ball beyond Buron. Castaneda, the sweeper, turned it out under pressure from Fraser. And for about the first time in the match, the Spanish defence looks a little ragged. There's Cooper. Forcing the ball to Barnes. McCoy setting it up neatly for Cooper, but it wasn't red. Ustingori. On the far side, Ibanez. Leaves it now to Lombreras. Good smothering save by Walker. The Osasuna strikers closed them down very quickly indeed. Now Walker hasn't seen a lot of action tonight, but this is a top-class save from Lumbreras. Holding the ball well as the strikers swooped. Fraser tackling back well for Rangers. So Ibanez this time has the opportunity to try another of his long throws. Ripo does, waiting in the middle, marked by Russell. Cleared off the line by Barnes. Well, that was tense for Rangers. Walker appeared to be beaten by that snapshot from the edge of the box. So Hugh Barnes is making another telling contribution for Rangers tonight. There goes Ibanez again with the throw. Clicked on to Orejuela. Now that was a chance for the Osasuna striker. Rangers troubled by the long throw. The head flick on, finds its way to the centre forward, Orejuela. But Walker was there for Rangers. So Rangers subs warming up. There's going to be a change. In fact, a couple of changes. 
Well, that's interesting. Cooper is going off, and so is Williamson. Derek Johnston and Ted McMinn are going on for Rangers. Well, the Rangers supporters are not impressed. Certainly not the perfect night for the skills of Davy Cooper, but he was always liable to do something to create a goal. Beckman, now Monroe. Feels the handball, the referee wins play on as McMinn has possession. No bell. The shot is blocked. Here's McMinn letting it run for the corner kick. Buggy Bell showing some of his close skill. Coming from midfield, McMinn with the corner. There goes Johnston! Well, that's what he's there for. These flighted crosses from the flanks. And he certainly lost none of his menace in the air. The loose ball picked up by Bell. Lost it in by... It's McMinn now with a chance for Rangers. And cleared off the line by Castaneda. McMinn again. There's Russell looking for Burns. Riding that challenge and the foul may well have been coming for Hugh Burns, but he was trying to play the ball all the time. Well, this is as close as Rangers have come apart from their goal. Lofted across the face of the goal. Flicked on by Johnston for McMinn. The shot beat the keeper, but Castaneda was there. That back killer was well read by Ripadas in midfield. Zibanez getting away from Fraser. Beaten by the surface water. That's a great header inside. And a very bad tackle from the back by De Luis on Derek Johnston. Well, this was nothing other than a calculated foul. Johnston was clearly away from his man. The tackle came from the back, and down goes Johnston. <laughs> De Luis to the goal line. Rangers have the corner kick. Taken by McMinn. Buren couldn't hold it. And the pressure continues on the Spanish defence. Orejuela back helping in defence. Johnson certainly a problem for the defence. McMinn flights it in. There goes Johnston! And still it will not go for Rangers. Some trouble with Cammy Fraser in the thick of it. The referee, I think, will take action against Fraser. But Derek Johnston came within inches of making it 2-0. Fraser being pushed in the box there. Johnston got his head to the ball. Fraser went with the goalkeeper. And that extra kick incurred the wrath of the Osasuna players and the referee who has shown Fraser the yellow card. A foul by Patterson. A show of dissent, certainly not warranted or justified well asking for the ball played up to him oh, walking at full stretch well that certainly almost appeared to take the keeper by surprise it was Bustingora who let fly from long range and Walker got his fingertips to the ball Johnston looking for McMinn, the water holds it up. And McMinn gets it back from Mina. And a set spinning by Ripudas, the referee allows play to go on because Rangers have possession. Not 
much consolation though to McMinn. McCoist. Tackled by Sabido. The referee now requiring eyes at the back of his head. Five minutes left. McMinn. In towards Johnston. Certainly has lost none of his menace in the air. The looping cross coming in from Ted McMinn. Johnston making space for himself away from Puroy and the header goes over. McCoy's lucky to get a second chance at that. In steps Bustingori. McCoy's running into Puroy. Patterson. Challenge from McPherson. That's one for McMinn to chase. It came from Craig Patterson. McCoy! Derek Johnston. No penalty, says the referee. Referee Kustov doesn't want to know. Well, this must be controversial, to say the least. Good pass from Patterson. McMinn plays it across. McCoy missed it. There was Derek Johnston, and that appeared to me to be a penalty. And this will suit the Spaniards fine to keep the ball up that left touchline towards the corner flag. Lombreras strolling to take the throw. Very frustrating for Rangers. Ferson with the measured pass back and Walker can launch what might be just about the last Rangers attack. In fact, they haven't even got time for that. The final whistle goes. Rangers the winners by one goal to nil. Craig Patterson, the captain with the scorer with that superb diving header in the ninth minute of the second half. But that really is the most slender lead to take to Spain for the second leg in two weeks' time. And I think it's fair to say that Rangers will have to go into the trenches if they're to make it to the second round. What a dreadful night, and the attendance at Ironworks tonight, 29,400.